So today I'm going to chat about Mini Omni, an awesome open source project that makes use of multiple modes and isn't just for text-based conversations. So Mini Omni actually enables us to chat with voice. This cool model actually hear and respond to what people say in real time. You could see the model is listening. All right, let's check out. We're going to be talking about the features of this model. We're going to talk about the package use. We're going to look into its architecture. Then we're going to look at what kind of applications can we use Mini Omni to build. And finally, we're going to be looking at the demo application using CPU or GPU. And in conclusion, we're going to see what it means to rock with this model. So as you can see, it's already recording my voice in real time. We will be having a conversation. I'll be chatting to this model and this model will be talking back to me. So what are the features of this model? I've already talked about them. It allows real time speech to speech conversations, talking while thinking. We'll be talking and the model is thinking. You see, I'm speaking and the model is doing some thinking, streaming audio output capabilities. This is awesome with audio to text and audio to audio batch inference. It has an inference API, we'll soon find out about that, that enables us to kind of like send this batch audio to the back end to process. So what are the packages that Mini Omni uses? So it actually uses Gwent 2 as the LLM backbone. For the training, they are, they are using Light GBT, Whisper for audio encoding. I think there is also a model by uh, OpenAI also called the OpenAI Whisper. It uses Snack for audio decoding, Cosy Voice for generating synthetic speech, OpenOrca and Moz for alignment. So you will soon discover that this model is actually very different from like the Open uh, AI Whisper. It kind of like, and another thing about this model is that it's very lightweight. So it's a lightweight model. Hence from its name, you could see Mini Omni. So how is the architecture of the model? So let's look at the architecture of this model. Basically, this is what happens. So you either going to be chatting to the model using sound or text. So there are two ways you can interact with the model. It's either going to be through sound and text. So it uses this wind, uh, whisper encoder to kind of process the sound. And with this audio adapter, this audio adapter is able to pass this sound to the mini omni language model. Or if it's text, it just converts the text to embedding and passes it into the mini omni language model so and then it could decode the audio you see so if it's text it will stream out the text but if it's audio then you're going to listen to the audio in real time so this is one of the amazing thing about this model so let's look at the applications of this model so where can we use mini omni i actually have an application that i'm thinking about building that is going to be an audio to audio so i'm going to have audio in a language in a specific language and i'm going to have audio out in another specific language these are the kind of applications that you want to use mini omni for so interactive customer support let's say for example uh, somebody is speaking from the other end and the model is responding as if it's a human i think voice control application so you want to use it for real time transcription and translation you want to use it for educational tools for example you could have a mini omni teacher you know, or tutor. So healthcare assistance, you could use it for content creature as well, for voiceovers, narration, and even interactive storytelling. Smart home. So Mini Omni kind of like, is that kind of a model that could actually help you, for example, to do a lot of things that has to do with voice. So automated transcription and the rest. So interactive feedback, audio editing. So the one, the application I'm actually thinking about building is in audio editing. I might actually share it on this channel. So I'm, I'm kind of like going to build it using a, a library in Rust called the LLM chain. So I'm going to be working on kind of audio editing using uh, LLMs. So this might also be one of the LLM I might be considered. Originally, I was thinking about using the OpenAI uh, Whisper, but now I'm, I'm kind of going to consider this. So let's look at the demo application. So here... As you could see, it's already processing my audio as, I'm, as I go through it. So here you could see that. So the inferencing is actually being done using this uh, mini omni inference. So it actually comes with it's a library itself. So it's being wrapped in a Flux application here. So you have this mini omni inference. And then within this inference, it normally, it, by default, it uses GPU. So for me, I'm testing it in my local PC. So I have to change this device to CPU. So when you go to the mini omni 
uh, page. So I'm going to show you that briefly here. So when you go here, you actually had hoggingface.co slash mini omni slash GPT omni slash mini omni. So this is where you actually have information on how you're going to run the model. So you also see a link to their GitHub repo and then you clone the entire code. So when you clone the entire code into the repository, you are going to get something like this. So you're going to get something like this. So you're going to install all these packages. So it comes with like a lot of packages you need to install. And also you need to also make sure that you have uh, um, this package. I think it's actually called uh, MEC. So you need to have that package installed on your, on, your, on your system. And then you also need to make sure that you have this Pi Audio. So Pi Audio need to be installed if you're going to be using it with like a Streamlit or, or Gradio. So the Omni inference is what is actually uh, process loading the, the checkpoint. So you see, then your device, of course, you have to choose between CPU and GPU. And then, of course, uh, the route is slash chat. Be where uh, the request is going to be sent to from the back end, from the front end. So the front end is actually a Gradle and Streamlit application. So this is where the request will be sent to. So you could see here as the audio request, request is being sent to is being decoded here using this base 64 and then it's been sent to the run batch stream so you see so this is this is all part of the the omni chat omni inference so it has this uh run at batch stream so this is what is going to process the generate the audio and then return back that response to you so I think this is what happens. So it's going to return back the response as audio to you. And then when you have the, the, the back end, so this is kind of like the server back end of the application. So I told you earlier, you, if you're using Windows, you have to install this. So I actually installed it using Choco. So I did like Choco. So if you have Choco, so I did Choco install. Then I install this package, FFM make full. So you need this because it uses this to process the audio. So when you're done with this, so this is what you're seeing actually here. So this is the back end here working. So as you could see, this is the back end server. So, so this is how you start the server. So you also need to make sure, for example, if you're using uh, Linux, you have to also install this FF, FFM PEG package. And then, of course, you need to start the server. So you need to start the backend server, first of all, before you start the Gradle or Streamlit, depending on which one you want to use. So when you're starting the Gradle or Streamlit, you first of all need to store this as an environmental variable. So the way you do that in Win, you're going to do something like this, set X, and then you provide this part. So this is how you're going to do it on Windows. If it's on Linux, then you're going to use like export. And then, so you have to make sure that this is stored as an environmental variable before you start uh, the Streamlit server. So this is what you're going to, you're going to use Streamlit run this. So if you look at it here, let me kind of like stop it. So I'm stopping the front end server now. And then when I want to start it, so streamlit run web UI slash omni streamlit.py. So within this folder, you have the files to actually execute uh, the omni gradio or omni streamlit. So with this, you'll be able to uh, test the application to see how it's actually working. I have tested it. I am chatting with it and it's responding. So let's see it in action. So you could see here, it's up here. It's starting another instance of the application. So Here, I can start chatting with the model. So I could say start. And you see, it starts listening. Tell me the capital of the United States. So this is what I'm doing right now. The model is listening and uh, it's going to process it. It takes a little bit of luck, of course. Okay. So this is what I actually sent to the back end for processing of the United States. So it's actually asking for the capital of the so United this is States. What I'm doing right now. The model is listening. So, so and uh, it's going to process. Now I have sent the information. So I'm waiting for the inference now. 
So it's kind of slow because I, I, I'm actually using it on CPU and my system doesn't have enough RAM. So definitely it's understandable why it's a little bit slow. But when you use it on a system that has some RAM or use it with GPU, it will be a little bit faster. So basically this is how uh, everything works. So if you like this kind of content and you want to kind of like see me continue on this series, for example, with Omni model, you can drop it on the chat section and just let me know what you want me to do next. I could actually build, let's say, for example, a React front end or kind of like incorporate it into like Langchain or even uh, Lalama index or even the LLM chain uh, package I create I told you about in Rust. I think it would be amazing if you could tell me exactly what you want me to do next. So now we get our inference back. So the model is actually now talking. So the model is responding and it's telling me exactly what it feels the capital of the United States is. So you see, it's still listening again for more conversation. So this is what we'll con you, co you continue to experience, that you can chat with this model. So Mini Omni is actually amazing. I think uh, it, it will help a lot when it comes to building audio application or I think most other models will actually improve on this. So if you like my channel, you could just uh, subscribe and support me so that I, it encourages me to keep bringing this content. Thank you for listening.